So a lot of people have asked me why I haven't yet covered gun control. To be honest, I'm just not that much of a gun enthusiast. I really only own the one. Well, unless you count uh, my rifle. Or my backup. Or my collector's item traditional Colt 45 replica. To be fair, I haven't fired this thing in weeks. I think I have a few Glocks around, but those are technically my mom's. Good old Barack Obama has said he wants to make the assault weapons ban permanent. He describes the weapons within the ban as machine guns that only belong on a foreign battlefield. Well, Barack, that statement is about as accurate as the final cut of a Michael Moore interview. We're about to do an interview here uh, with a gun owner in... Oh, there he is. There he is. Let's go get him. Sir, could I grab just a minute of your time, sir? Uh, I'll call you back. What do you want, Lumpy? All right, sir, do you own a gun here in this household? Yeah, I own a gun. And why is that? Well, because I care about my family, and I figure if, uh, if I'm a rapist or a murderer, I'm the biggest deterrent to be going in that house is somebody having a gun. Get out of my way. All right, sir, thank you for your... Can we edit that? If I'm a rapist? Yeah, I own a gun. Sir, sir, if I could grab just one minute of your time, sir, just... Sir, if I could just... Oh, crap! Truth is, most of the guns on this ban list are nothing more than your trusty old semi-automatic. And for those sissies who don't know, nearly every handgun nowadays is a semi-automatic. This is just another part of the Obama administration's multi-pronged approach to take away our Second Amendment rights. And they're not the first! Plenty of successful leaders have implemented gun control in the past. Hitler, Stalin, Che Guevara, and now we've got Pelosi and pals. Gosh, I feel bad even mentioning her name in the same sentence. At least the others had charm or talent. Truth is, when the government's goal is tyranny, the last thing they want is an armed populace. And no, not all Second Amendment supporters are survivalist nutjobs, though Ted Nugent is funny. Among the many misdeeds of British rule in India, history will look upon the act of depriving a whole nation of arms as the blackest. Spoken by Gandhi, folks. Ouch! Liberals, how does it feel to see your pacifist idols supporting our right to bear arms? I'm betting it's as painful as Michael Moore's realization that nobody wants to see his movies anymore. No! <laughs> <laughs> How important is your freedom to you? With today's government folks, you need to take a stand and start fighting for your rights. And remember, we've already got a leg up because when it comes to a difference of opinion, the guy with the gun wins! And to those of you who support these motions and still want to take our guns away, well, to you I say, Go ahead. Make my day.